the Ferris State Bulldogs, who flew out this morning to the White House. They only got notice last week that they would actually be invited out for College Athlete Day, an NCAA event honoring the national champions across a ton of different divisions, a ton of different sports. So how quick did they and make that up? Isn't that crazy? Because they only, I'm telling you, they only got notice late last week. The North Central coach, the head football coach for the D3 defending national champions, he said he was so surprised that his first response back to the initial invite is, are you guys serious? Is this real? Really? That's what he said. On uh, on like some news, they had him on a news interview. I was doing a little bit of homework. Um, so it was just like That's that funny. spur of the moment. I thought that was pretty funny. But this is a look. By the way, here's a new little look for you guys. You can see me and the screen kind of nice. But... This is a look at kind of what the event looked like. This is from the White House YouTube channel, but you can just see, you know, pretty straightforward. That is Charlie Baker at the podium with an interpreter on the right side. But Charlie Baker, the NCAA president, just kind of giving an address about what this means. And behind him, you've got representatives from each of those national championship teams. So you can see the, for lack of a better term, the black guy in the black polo in the top middle there uh, is the representative from Ferris State's football team. And... I'm actually not sure. I can't see which one of them would be the one from North Central. But uh, you'd see a ton of different teams were represented at this uh, college athlete day, Mm -hmm. which was pretty cool. Now, I told you in the beginning, President Biden did not make an appearance, uh, even though he was supposed to. And I told you it had something to do with eating a little bit too much ice cream. Can you guess? You can't, can you? He had a root canal. Did he? He had a root canal. A little too much chocolate, chocolate chip. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, and so. hey, in all seriousness, like that is a legit, like that is a legitimate reason to miss something. Like that is a actual procedure. I'm not trying to make light of the situation. This is not a political show, but it's funny. <laughs> that's funny, yeah, dude. That's funny. That's funny. You missed it because of a root canal. <laughs> he's on the he's on the ten day right now. <laughs> he 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 actually his status was uh, promptly downgraded to questionable, questionable. before the event, um, and then you know, right before the event started doubtful. was put down to doubtful. Yep. So if we take a look at Ferris State's Twitter feed, I was going to try and pull up a picture, but their whole feed is po- full, just chock full of stuff from their visit here. So we're just going to scroll through and see here's, we're going backwards, obviously. So we're scrolling down um, the flight back. It looks like they were actually with North Central mm-hmm. right here. So this says, yeah, two groups of national champions flying back to Chicago. Yeah. Congrats to the D3 national champs, which is, uh, that's pretty cool. But if you go down, a little bit further, you've got the flight. Here's a couple of the uh, where they're eating at, and there we go. There's a there's a good picture of the Ferris State crew. That is their group of representatives that uh, made it to the White House. A pretty cool setup. Yeah. There it looks like like they definitely they, they did for as job. last minute as it all kind of seemed. This definitely came together. And it looks like a really polished event. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's what I was saying on the other episode. Kate is like. How would you decide which guys get to go? That would yeah, be really hard, I think. Yeah, that's another thing. I mean, probably all older guys. Yeah. Guys have been there for two years. Captains and stuff like that. But I, I want to say from the article that I read, the number was 25. And so I was like, if you take starters from both sides of the ball, it's 22. Yeah. I imagine the special teams guys might not get a spot. I don't know. I don't know. There's got to be some sort of way that. Yeah, I'm sure they, they someone's figured gonna be it out. About it either way. Yeah, they absolutely are. But um, that is uh, a, a nice little shot of where's my mouse of the guys there. And then if we keep moving down here, there were a couple more that I wanted to get to. Just kind of the guys interacting with some of the media. Quick interview with Coach and Nice there, and the sports director down from uh, Big Rapids made the trip down there as well. Here are some of the guys just kind of talking about the experience. But there was one picture. That I wanted to find. There's Flex in the Rings. And here it is. <laughs> <laughs> this says, it's Coach Anise, the head coach for Ferris State here. A little rain never stopped the dogs sightseeing in D.C. And he is just the happiest little camper with his rain poncho on posted Sorry. up on the curb. I thought that was fucking hilarious. And I love too. It's it's got the same energy as like a little kid at a restaurant where his and the bar stools because yeah, his legs, legs aren't reaching the ground; they're just swinging. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. There's a better look uh, for you guys. If you get a little closer, zoomed up look. But I mean, hey, when you win back to back natties, that's the kind of expression you're supposed to wear. Yeah, right. You deserve it. Yeah, that's. I thought that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and then as far as 
North Central goes, they made the trip as well. Now, I will say the coverage from North Central kind of lackluster. Uh, Ferris has been all over it, dude. But North Central, uh, much more sporadic in their posting. I can only really find this. There's a picture of a couple of their representatives as they made their way around D.C. But, I mean, like, still just such a cool opportunity. And, of course, why would you post that picture? Out of all yeah. the pictures you could post? Looks like, looks like they got it off Safari. <laughs> like Or Google Maps. Yeah. Why, right. why that one? Um, but there you are. There's a couple couple more of the guys. But one of, uh, I think it was actually Coach Denise, um said it best. And he said, you know, this is an opportunity that over 90%, and I would argue 99% of the population will never get to experience. Oh, yeah. Like, they got to go in the White House. As far as I know, they got to get in the gates of the White House. I don't know if they went inside, per se. But they got to enter the gates of the White House uh, be on the South Lawn. That's where they held the ceremony. Uh, that is just—it's pretty special. I mean, that, I think that's—I think that's pretty cool. Do you imagine getting the getting the call? But yeah, pretty sweet for those guys. Awesome opportunity. Let's transition over to NFL, and you know what? Let's start. We can start with Deion, right? DeAndre Hopkins uh, released by the Cardinals. 